Hi guys, in the first two videos on matched boarding I showed you how to cut the tongue and the groove and in this video I'm going to show you how to do some beading on those matched boards and we're going to be using the beading gauge first of all I'm going to install the beading cutter in the same way we do for standard beading work that I showed in my video earlier in the series. Adjust it for a fairly light cut and tighten it up. Now we need to install the beading gauge into the sliding section and that goes in at the front where the auxiliary depth gauge normally sits and that pushes home onto the sole it has a little opening in it allowing the cutter to come through without being fouled then the sliding section and main stock are put together aligning the edge of the cutter with the outside of the sliding section. The tongued section of work is clamped onto the bench. I'm using bench dogs here and the end vise. The beading gauge extends below the sole of the sliding section and provides a fence which is then run against the top edge of the tongued piece of work. like so. With the beading gauge pressed tightly against the side of the work we can then start to cut. Being careful to keep the plane as upright as you can. I've got a change in grain direction at the end here and it wants to dig in. So I'm going to lift the plane up, tilting it on the front of the skids as I get towards that end. Because it's getting difficult here, I'm going to raise the cutter up a little bit. It means I'll have to raise the depth stop a little bit as well. One or two light passes along the whole bead. Should just make it look a little bit better. That's our bead formed. Attaching the two sides together again, you can see that we have a nice beaded joint. Beading matched boards using the 45, a piece of cake. Cheerio!